Good morning. Um, it's really early today. Well, not too early, but kind of, you know. Anyways, I am making red velvet gluten-free cupcakes for a sweet little girl who is turning 21. Hold on. Turn 21 on Friday or Saturday, I'm not sure. Anyways, so I'm just going to modify this little, because I couldn't find a chocolate one, or I definitely would have bought it, but um, it's yellow. It's gluten-free. But really, all it, all the real recipe has, like if you want to make a gluten-free one by scratch, just had two tablespoons of cocoa in it and food dye. So that's what I'm adding. Everything else kind of was the same and I want to make sure it was all good to go. So I think it'll be fine. All right. So it's just like any other cake mix. You do three eggs Ooh, and pop out your chocolate. Okay. And one cup of water. Today is dressed like our principal day. Well, he always is dressed up or fancy dancy day. Um, and But there's one time that he, I mean, I swear, it could have been three years ago, I don't remember. But there was one time he dressed in jeans, because he never wears jeans, and Ohio State sweatshirt. So that one time is the time I fondly remember. Because <laughs> I did not want to dress in khakis and a tie and all that. Not all that. And I didn't really want to dress dress up because we never get to wear jeans hardly. So I'm just going to utilize my jean day. And so that one time when he was, I feel like that wasn't him, was dressed like this is when I'm, what I'm dressing like. So, all right. Just like any other cake makes you stir it up for a little bit. And then, okay, well, I'm gonna stop this right here because I want to add my food coloring. Red food dye to make the red velvet. So that is all that chocolate cake, I mean red velvet cake is, is the red dye, and it's got some chocolate, and it's good to go. And I really like the spatula. This is what I suggest. You can make chocolate cake. Like I could have just made this chocolate. Added two tablespoons of chocolate in it. Um, whatever. I'm trying to get me. I might put a little more red in. Well, I turned it off and add a little more water, just a tablespoon of water, just in case, just to offset that cocoa. I don't know, my heaters are acting good for but I don't want to wear it, so... still have it going, but then sometimes it gets all over. I just feel like 
they were kind of going up really high. I don't know. Yes. I did buy flour, so if these, for some crazy reason, don't taste okay. I think they will be fine, though. Um, I did buy the gluten-free flour. It's supposed to be cup for cup. I have not had good luck with some of that, so I just think I'm going to stick to what I know rather than create something I don't need. You know? All right. So I'm going to do the cupcakes first. And I use a scoop, if you watch, just to make them even. And you have kids. Let me see how many you're supposed to make. It says 24 cupcakes, so um because I'm going to make 12 cupcakes and a cake for her. And then I'm gonna make regular cupcakes for her parents. So if you're in a pinch and you need something gluten-free, this is totally what you could do. Oh. That was a little bit much. I like them really even. Spray on these little pans. You can hear my son's music. I swear to goodness, if it messes up my video, because I don't own the rights to the music. I don't even know what music it is. Truly, it just sounds like some goofy music. All right, I don't want to go too much, or it's going to pop all over. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I might do the rest of these, just so we can try them to make sure they're okay. I'm sure they're fine, but you never know. Morning's going good. Mine is. I got some lunches after this. But I thought I'm gonna get this done first and get lunches going. And I haven't gotten Jamie up yet. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven, 350, and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna stand here for a second. Okay, I know that's awkward, but they pick the cr craziest ones. Oh my gosh, this is my life. Okay, so I'm like, you know, lollygagging around. Not really lollygagging, but kind of, you know, whatever. And I remember taking a shower last night, trying to be prepared for school, and there was a reason. For some crazy reason, I don't remember my mornings, I guess. And I'm like, huh, I'm doing fine. I mean, I knew I had to get up and get this done. Um, and the kids have a concert tonight. I just found out fifth grade does too, which I only swear I got one for seventh grade. So I was saying Taylor has a concert tonight. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's why I'm doing these this morning because the kids hate when I do the videos and they hate when that gets in their way in the mornings and I said uh I had to do it today because Taylor has a concert and Jamie's like yeah I do too I'm like no you don't he's like uh yeah I do and I'm like what so I don't know I have to check my email I don't I didn't think he had one I only saw one for seventh grade but maybe so anyways all right so this is the buttercream frosting I'll post it really good I put a stick of butter and a half cup of Crisco. Then I put a little salt just to bring out the flavor, like a dash. And vanilla, Watkins only, 
It's my favorite. Hmm. A teaspoon of that. And then confectioner sugar, which I did not get out. So, where is it? Oh. Okay. Um, so anyways, so I didn't tell you yet. Okay, so I'm like, 7.30, buy kids, whatever. I got, you know, all this time, like an hour. And I can make my coffee. And then I'm like, oh, I have a teacher's meeting today at 8 or 8, 10. So, and then you put half a bag of this in a pound. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh. And I don't want to be late. Because I'm never late. Dead. No, I'm always late. But I'm always seriously got something going on. I really do. And I do this to myself. I know I do. However, what do you do? So. Just mix it up. I got uh, actually quite a bit of compliments on this frosting. It's so good. Not me again. Just seriously, the recipe. So good. I, anybody can do this. Seriously, if you guys watch the videos, they're pretty self-explanatory. They're pretty simple. Um, it's not like, I don't know, like it's crazy stuff. My sweet, sweet neighbor called, or texted me this morning and said, there was a mink in your chicken coop. I'm like, what? Thomas has been trying to catch it. And he caught a cat. He let that go. Um, but he's been trying to catch his mink because it's been taking out our chickens. And I don't know how many chickens are left now because it's gotten quite a bit. And so I thought, no way is my dog going out today. Because yesterday they seemed like something was out there. Um, and the, I let him out in the front, but still. They seem like something wasn't right, and I thought they're about a, as much weight as a chicken, and I'm the chicken myself, so I'm not gonna try to strain, uh, you know, get a mink and get away. From, I mean, I, I get, I don't know what I would do. Probably scream and scare the whole neighborhood and everybody get, but um, but she's so brave. She went out there and she got that mink. I don't know. She scared it off, like, and it was at five in the morning, so it's dark. And there's no, really, there's no lights out there. So she just is like the bravest person. I know. So sweet. She's always so kind. Her and her husband. Love them to pieces. They're like grandparents for my kids. Which is wonderful. All right, then you add milk. Not on your shirt though. Don't, don't get it on your shirt. No need for that. Really, the more you whip it, because I used to just be like whip and it would be together and it would be done. But really, truly, the more you whip it, the fluffier and yummier I think it tastes. Okay, so I don't want to use this because this has Crisco on it. I want some to bite in and say, ooh, what a greasy piece of whatever. All right, so, and then you just have your little bag, so easy. Stick it in there. Oops. Maybe. I try to get as much as I can in, and then it pops off the top, and I would just not do that. You can put this over a cup, too. I just, so slowly, I'm running late. So I want to make sure I get my lunch made and my coffee. Okay. Boom. There are the gluten-free red velvet cupcakes for the 21-year-old. It's birthday. Sometimes I just, oh. okay, yeah, see, because it's going to do that, and I don't kind of like that, so, 
There they are. Beautiful, beautiful. Yummy, I'm sure. Woo! Why? Every video, we were just talking about this yesterday, Mrs. Duncan and I. Every video I scream in. I don't know why. It just, just happens to be, I don't know. Anyways, all right, I'm going to frost this later. Got to go. Have a good day. Don't be late. Teacher's meeting today. 810. Be there.